Sheen, amazing lecture, bro. Amazing lecture. Uh, I think it, it was your best uh, lecture I saw. <laughs> the, the eight steps was really, really uh, clear. And I have some, some questions from my fellows. Uh, okay. Fernanda, you present the, the lecture, the, the questions here. And after I have questions too. The first question is here, Dr. Wen Jet. Uh, I, I have uh, fellows, Shin, from many cultures in the world, it's not only Brazil. So uh, they are in another room. And the first, first question is from Dr. Wen Jet. Okay. And the, okay, the distance from the limbus. Yes, uh, I first make the square thumbnails two millimeters from the limbus, but I, I made some case with an optic capture, an iris capture after surgery. So I, I changed to 2.5 millimeters. Sheen, so uh, when you change uh, to 2.5, you don't have more uh, eyes capture. You solve this problem. Yeah, unfortunately, I I met some case with uh, optic cap eyelid capture, but but it 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 decreased. Well, well, two point five is better, right? I think so. Yeah. Great, Fernanda. Another question. Shin, while you don't receive new questions, uh, I have some question for you. Okay. Number one. How many wet labs do you suggest uh, on your eye, in your uh, uh, simulator? You suggest the, su the surgeon to, to do before to start uh, your technique in, in human eyes. You have mm. a number three times. That, that's, time. that, mm, that's a difficult question because for some, some skilled surgeons, they can do good surgery be, um, just after one one pr practice but some some doctors need 10 or 20 and if if you can do smoothly with simirai you you can go to the human eye i i mean mm -hmm. if if you bend bend the haptic in in your practice you should you should do more practice. You understand? Yeah, uh, that's perfect. I, I I mean uh, some bit some beginners um, bend bend the haptic when when they insert the haptic to, into into the needle be, because it uh, to two more falls, and they they don't align the haptic with needle so it it lead to the haptic deformation. And and if you made the IO decentration or tilt in your practice, you, you should do more practice. Okay, Shin, uh, you have more questions? Fernanda, please, the next one. Hmm. Okay. Before, before making flange, I, I always try to um, push and pull the, both of the haptics and I, I watch the optics, optic, and I confirm their tilt and decentration and I, I find, find the best position. So af after that, I decided to cut or not. So, but but in 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 most cases, and normal normal in the normal eye, I I usually cut one or one point five millimeters before making flange. Yes, but, I, but, I, I, but as I said, I I usually use a large IOL with seven millimeters optic in Japan, so it, it's a little bit different. In, in your countries yes i personally suggest the sensor ar40 i think is the the best uh, the best way j and j, j, j uh, sensor uh, i think is the best way uh, iol for your technique outside to japan uh, i i always uh, say for my fellows and my colleagues please never use 
uh, Alcon Type 7B is not is not good for your technique. And Alcon MA60 uh, uh, for me outside of Japan, the, the sensor AR40, I think is the best. I don't know if you agree with with this. Why why don't don't you use Alcon one? I don't like the haptic of the the Alcon. I think the haptic is so so thin, and when I perform with this Alcon, uh, sometimes the the, the haptic uh, bent and or break, mm. and the sensor the haptic is better, is more uh, strong, and uh, my results with the sensor is really best with the sensor J and J uh, in compare with the Alcon. Uh, I don't know if it's only my personal uh, uh, experience, but my dream is to have uh, the Japan uh, IOL here in Brazil. Don't don't you have a Zeiss one, Lucia City Lucia? No. no, no. I think City Lucia is a good uh, IOL too, right? Yeah, the PVDF haptics are very flexible, so yeah, very fit for the Yamane technique. Okay. Uh, Fernanda, next question, please. Mm, yes, and uh, this symmetrically, you, you should symmetrically insert the needles, and may, maybe the uh, vertical. And to control the vertical angle is difficult for most surgeons. So you you should keep the eye um, par parallel, and you should insert the needle as parallel. In in the deep set eye, it it's e easy to go the vertically go go down. So please keep the angle of the needle horizontally. Shin, I, I think the tip that you that you discuss about the the, the balance haptic is a, in the sing, single needle, uh, I think it's a good tip because you, I saw in the video when he, the, the surgeon do the single needle, sometimes it's it can uh, not have a balanced uh, sternalizing, it can tilt, right? Uh, I, I think these two tips was was uh, good and the cut in the haptic is, is a good option to 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 stay the IOL more flat, right? Yeah, but but yes, that is an option. But the most important point is the insertion angle of the needles. The angle of the needle. Okay, yeah. Fernanda, next question, please. Yes, I in, personally, I I. Make make PI in the almost all all cases, but but some some doctors don't don't make PI and they they said they said that that's no problem. But so I I don't know which which is better. But for for me I uh, it it's nothing for me to make make PI. So so and PI can uh, avoid avoid the um papillary block uh reversed papillary block so i'm i'm making the in most cases fernanda next question please okay um uh, so i use 30 gauge needle so the Diameter of the 30 gauge needle is 0.3 millimeters. So the the French size is 0.3 or a little smaller in in my case. But if if you use 27 gauge needle, you you should make the French with 0.4 millimeters or a little bit smaller. And in person, the French comes smaller and smaller. In the in my first case, I I I was worried about three pages of the French into the eye, so I I made a big French. But now, I I know the French never go inside the, the eye, so my French comes smaller and smaller. 
Yeah, man, and, uh, you, you never receive so many questions like today, okay? I think my fellows love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's, okay, AC maintainer is a good choice, but for me, and uh, the bit, I am bit retina surgeon, so the infusion port is uh, better for me. Next question, please. Yes, ninety-nine percent with vitrectomy. If I do this, use this technique in in the other clinics or hospital, if if they they don't have the vitrectomy machine, I I I do only anterior vitrectomy. But in my clinic, I I perform full vitrectomy in all cases. Sheen, is is uh, a really important point in, in my fellowship program. This month is scleral fixation. Né? July, you are discussing scleral fixation. And uh, my opinion, too, is, is perform posterior vitrectomy in all case uh, to avoid the retinal traction, retinal uh, detachment. And uh, it's good to hear it from you, too, because you have a, a, a huge experience, a big experience in uh, scleral fixation. And I have the, the same opinion that you have. Great, great for the fellows to, to hear is, it. And most of my cases are dislocated IOL. And some sometimes the IOL was dropped to the retina and some fragments of the lens go into the vitreous cavity. So if I do only the, with AC maintainer, it's very stress for me. It's easier way to do three port vitrectomy, parasparana vitrectomy. Great. Next question, please. Yeah, leaf fixation. I I tried some cases, but I I stopped to reuse the dislocated IOL because the IOL always deformed if the lens, if the IOL was fixed in the back. If if the dislocated IOL is fixed on, on, on the back position, sarcas position, you can use the IOL. But if the dislocated IOL is inside the capsular back, you, you should remove it. Tim, I like to do when I have, for example, a patient with a subluxation lens, uh, a Marfan syndrome is patients like this. I like to use a three-piece IOL and I capture the, the optic zone in the in the and I put the haptics in the in the, the sucos. So in the future, if the you have a subluxation, I use your your technique. That, that's like okay. To... Because the haptic is not deformed. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, next question, please. I I always make flange and nasal and temporal and the side side position. I I I I didn't try to the, the vertical fixation. I, I, I don't know which, which is better, but in, in the paper from the US, the erosion, uh, conjunctival erosion is occur frequently if, if they fix the French superior and in, inferior side. I, I, I don't know why, but the paper said that. Next, next. <laughs> I think, yes. Is the preferred IOL? Uh, yes, and I, I usually use NX70. It's only available in Japan, so unfortunately, in many US surgeons use a CT Lucier, but uh, as Sergio said, uh, you you can't use use it. So I, I think sense sensor is a good op option. Yes, uh, I think if you have sense uh, city Lucia uh, size in your country, 
I, I agree with Yamani. I, I forgot about the City Lucia because uh, you don't have City Lucia in Brazil, but the Haptics, the PVDF uh, Haptics is better than the, the J and J Sensor Haptics. It's uh, avoid the bend, about avoid the, the break of the, the haptic. And uh, uh, who don't, don't know, but in Japan, in Japan, Dr. Yamani has an IOL with seven millimeters uh, optical zone. So it's amazing for his technique because it's better to centration, it's avoid to tilt. Right, Shin? Yeah. Yes. I think you have more two questions and you two or four because your money needs you to, to rest. It's now in <laughs> Japan, it's eight and, and half. And right, next one, next one. The position is not so important, I, I think. The position and relationship of the wounds is very important but but you can lo rotate for to any position i think nine three four ten any position is okay i think you have a, a question about elp from dr wenjet i think these are a good questions let me let me see if you find fernanda uh, ELP, the next questions, yes, this one. Mm. So the, it's very difficult to control the ref reflection in this technique and in, in, in my personal data the i i use srkt formula because uh, we we can't <coughs> measure the an anterior chamber depths before surgery so i i, I can't use a barrett formula so and in, in my data my my patient has a 0.4 diopters myopic shift compared to the in the back fixation when when i, I make the toenail square toenail 2.5 from the corneal limbus but when use i i use seven millimeters lens so when you use a sensor it, it may be difficult when I, I use a uh, uh, thickness, the air nine or three, the reflection is almost same as in the back fixation. No, I, I use no collection. Uh, Fernanda, you have a question about Dr. Florian. Uh, tips on placement of vitrectomy, Dr. Florian, if you can, yes. I think it's a good question. Uh, I I usually use twenty seven gauge vitrectomy, but that's same as twenty three, and. As as I show you in the in the video, I always set the trockers and needle at the same position in the right and left eye. And if if you change change it, it, it has a risk of um, interrupt the trockers when trockers sometimes interrupt to in, inserting the needles. So you you must do just like me or you you should sh simulate before your case yeah i she you know i i like this important point uh, i always discuss it with my colleagues and fellows uh you need to use the same point every time if you change the position it is is not good for your technique for for any technique 
because you need to 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 repeat the same the same position this is better for improve your technique in any in Yamani, in glue dol in my technique in gabor i i, I like it I, it's I, I think it's a important tip too if you change one you you must change everything yes 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 Fernando, I think the last question and you you finish yes the last one yes if if you can see the French through the square you you can remove it uh, you can cut cut the if you can see the blue flange through the square you you can op open the square and externalize the half French then cut the French if you can't find the flange you can't remove the haptic so in in that situation maybe I I will cut the haptic in, inside the eye and leave leave the flange and that short short haptic haptics in the eye just just remove the optics Shin I promise this is the last one Dr. <laughs> Arlene okay <laughs> I promise <laughs> Dr. and dear fellows is 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 late in Japan okay and so that, the that's the same one... as the previous questions uh, uh, when I I use the sensor sensor or or thickness uh, the <laughs> aim of the reflection is almost same as in the back fixation with SRKT formula and 2.0 millimeter and 2.5 millimeter is a not big difference of course if if you choice choose 2.5 the IOL goes a little bit deeper side but but if you choose 2.5 the haptic haptic length is uh, increased so the optic goes upward can you can you understand B because the eye eyeball sh shape is uh, angled so 2 2.0 if if you choose 2.0 millimeters the total length of the the IOL is about four, 14 millimeters. If you choose 2.5, the lens goes 15 or 16. So the optic goes a little bit upward. So the reflection of 2.0 and 2.5 is not so changed. Understood. Sheen, uh, really amazing lecture. I, I I I never received so many questions, and I, I had before amazing uh, 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 international speaker uh, speakers. Every month you you receive one international speaker in in our fellowship program. Thank you to to be this international speaker this, this July is sclerotic fixation uh, uh, model this month July. And you had before posterior capture rupture, uh, premium IOL, IOL power calculation. But I think everybody loves scleral fixation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. That's my pleasure. So, Shin, thanks, bro. See you in Vienna. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Sergio. See bye. You. Bye. Bye. See you.